How is it going? Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing more of a follow-up video to the one I did a few months back on how to set up the Elgato OBS and Mac all together. So that way if you're trying to stream or record gameplay, you'll be able to use the more customizable features within OBS. But today's not about OBS. Today is about Streamlabs OBS and the fact that they just released this about uh, almost two weeks ago to be compatible with Mac OS. So if you didn't know this information already, here's your scoop. You're now in the loop. If you're curious about the differences between Streamlabs OBS and regular OBS, well, Streamlabs OBS, also known as Slobs, has more feature advancements. So examples of that would be the alerts, the widgets. You can add and modify those things right within Streamlabs OBS, whereas with OBS, you have to import a browser link and then edit within the web application. It's, it's not all in, encompassing. Another advancement of Streamlabs OBS is when you're streaming, you'll see your chat window up within the application itself. So you don't have to go back, let's say, to the web browser, to Twitch or YouTube to see who's chatting. You'll see it right within the application. Those are just a couple quick examples. I didn't want to do a whole video comparing and contrasting the two. More about the Elgato here, which brings me to what you're going to need for this to work. On Mac, you can either use the HD60S or the HD60S Plus. I'll go into how you set up both of these with Streamlabs OBS. If you happen to own an HD60, I'm sorry. Buddy, it's time to upgrade. That's not gonna work. Only the two capture cards I just showed will be compatible. So now if you're in that boat with one of the two capture cards that are compatible with Mac, go ahead and set up your equipment. The HDMI end cable will go into the gaming console. The HDMI out will go to your monitor or your TV. And then the USB-C cable will go to your computer. Here's where you guys have to listen to me now if your setup is not functioning at the highest level that you want. You're probably using dongles between that USB-C cable to USB 3.0 cable that came in the box and then connecting that to your MacBook Pro, which I hope is a quad-core processor, by the way. If it's dual-core, it's not gonna work. Listen to me right now with that too. But with the USB cable, that needs to be a USB-C to USB-C super speed cable. Please get that and your setup will work instantly better. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I was using the USB-C to USB 3.0 cable and using a dongle in between, and it slowed down my connection. I had issues out the wazoo. Just don't do it. Spend the extra 20 bucks, get a super speed USB-C to USB-C cable, and you'll have a direct connection between your Mac and your capture card, and things will run very beautifully, trust me. If you own the HD60S Plus, which I highly recommend you upgrade to, or if you don't own a capture card to get this one, your setup's gonna run damn near perfect. The last thing I wanna add here regarding your initial setup is just to make sure you're on the most recent Mac OS version. So that would be Mojave, whatever. Just go into your settings, just make sure you're on the most recent update. If you're good there, let me show you what software you're gonna need to download. If you haven't already, download Streamlabs OBS for Mac. If you just go on their website, it'll automatically give you the download link for Mac. Next, go to the downloads page on the Elgato website. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the OBS link for Mac. You're gonna wanna download the version that they have listed there. And here's why you need to update to Mojave. OBS link will only work with Mac OS Mojave 10.14 or later. So please update if you're still on something like Catalina. The last thing you're gonna to need to download if you have the HD60S is you're going to need to get the OBS NDI plugin. So as of today that I'm filming this video, the most recent plugin is 4.8. And to get the most recent version, just go and scroll down to the bottom here and download the package for OBS NDI 4.8 Mac OS. Go ahead and install those applications depending on your capture card. And if for some reason you get a pop-up message saying security warning, can't install this because it's from an unknown site. Well, all you have to do is go into your system preferences, go to security and privacy, go over to general, and go ahead and allow the download from that external site. You'll see it right under allow apps downloaded from. Go ahead and click the lock to make the changes. So you'll just have to put in your password or your fingerprint and then just go ahead and improve that download. And then you'll get your free virus. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, you're not gonna get a virus. Maybe. Okay, we're almost ready to rock and roll here. You next wanna go and load up the OBS link 
software. You'll see the icon pop up in your taskbar. Just wanna click on that and go into your preferences. If your HD60S is hooked up correctly, you'll see it pop up here as a capture device. And then the other things you can do within this preferences window is adjust the output format. So you can change it to 720p all the way up to 1080p 60. You can go here to audio input as well. So you can either choose HDMI or the analog line in in case you are using the chat link cable for the PS4. Sometimes the audio from the chat link cable can come in a little bit soft. So you can increase that audio by adjusting the gain right here. One of the other settings you can adjust is the HDMI color range and I just keep it to same as input. Now that we're all squared away with the HD60S and how we're gonna output it, let's load up Streamlabs OBS. So I created a test scene called Elgato HD60S, and then from within here, I'm gonna add a new source, select NDI source, add the source button, then you'll see your preview here as well. Go ahead and add the source. In my case, it won't be working because I'm using OBS right now, but I'll stop using it just so I can show you that the gameplay will appear in this box. So I'm gonna exit out of regular OBS. I restarted OBS link. And now it is searching for signal and boom, there we go. So you can't use Streamlabs OBS and OBS at the same time. It can only be one or the other. And as for your audio goes, you'll be using the NDI source here. That is the gameplay audio. So it'll come through via the chat link or HDMI, whichever you set on the OBS link. And you can adjust that accordingly right here. That's all you have to do for the HD60S. If you own the S Plus, it's even easier. Let me show you real quick. I'll add a new source. And from here, we're gonna use video capture device, not a plugin, add the source, HD60S plus, yep, add the source, boom, there it is. Even easier, guys, that's all you have to do. None of those other extra programs, just so much more simple, and you won't experience those slight delays, or if you've been streaming a while, the audio might get shifted off with the HD60S. That's, what, that's what's happened in my experience just to let you guys know, which is why I think that the upgrade to the S Plus is so worth it. Tr trust me, my streams have been so good since I've gotten this upgrade. The only little thing I want you guys to be aware of regarding the HD60 S Plus is regarding the audio. As you can see, I don't have any audio coming through the capture card. And if I go to the properties, there's nothing here for me to, to make sure the audio is coming through. So what I have to do is actually load up the original Elgato game capture software. And then from within here, I can go into my settings, go into the capture tab, and then in my input, I can select HDMI or with analog if I'm using the chat link cable. After doing that, you will get your gameplay audio to come through to Streamlabs OBS. If your gameplay audio here is a little low, you need it to be louder, go into your settings here and select filters. From here, you wanna add a filter, do the gain filter, Done. And then from here, you'll be able to increase the volume of that gameplay audio. And then just select done and you're good to go. So that's the video guys. That's how you can set up the Elgato Game Capture HD60S or the S Plus with Streamlabs OBS on a Mac and running well. Okay, come on camera. I just gotta finish the video. Please, please, no. Are you serious?